All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and start going over our CFA over lessons 5, 6, and 5, 7. Uh, we'll do a couple of different videos uh, here and, and divide it up into a couple of parts so you'll have another video to watch. Uh, make sure you've got your hard copy here and you're re-listening uh, to the, to the reteaching here and making sure you're getting your answers written down so you've got a study guide. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is identify the units you might use when reporting area. And I know area, we use square feet or square meters, things dealing with distance. We don't cube it. Uh, like here, this would be volume, uh, cubic feet. So we know it has to be square. We've been doing area a long time. So we have square feet. Uh, we could have square meters, which would be quite a bit bigger. Uh, then if I look more, you, so you get in that habit of seeing the square units there. So you think this, uh, kind of tricky here, uh, kilograms are not measuring distance. Okay, this is measuring mass. Uh, so this is not something, you know, you would see it squared, so you might think that, but again, really seeing if you understand. Kilograms is mass, it's not distance, all right? So this deals with that heaviness of something with its grams. So that won't work even though it's squared in this case. We've got to be looking for those things with distance. So that's a little bit uh, trickier there, okay? Right here, we've got a geometric solid. Uh, it's a cube. It's four by four by four. Uh, our job now is to find the surface area Okay, write a number sentence to find that surface area of the geometric solid, and then let's go ahead and solve it and find that surface area, okay? So the number sentence here, you know, a lot of people will get surface area and volume mixed up. Remember, surface area, guys, we're trying to cover the surface of all six faces. We're not talking about how much it holds here, okay? That's volume, all right? So I know there's six faces. There's a front and a back I can't see, a top and a bottom, and then the two sides. So there's actually six sides. And when it's a cube, I know they're all the same. So this makes it a little bit simpler. So for my number sentence, I'm going to find just the front here. I see that it's 4 by 4. So 4 times 4 uh, would give me 16. Uh, the front would have 16 square uh, centimeters in there. Okay, on just the front surface here to cover that. So in this case, since I know they're all the same, I'm going to put that in parentheses just to represent one of them. And now I'm going to take it times six because I know there's six faces. There's the front, back, top, bottom, and the two sides, and they're all the same. So I just need to do this six different times, and it'll cover it. So really what this changes to, guys, is just 16 times six. And if I do that work, I know my answer for sur surface area would be 96 uh, square centimeters it would take to cover all six faces uh, of this cube. So again, a lot easier than a rectangular prism or other different shapes if it's a cube. To, for my number sentence, I can just find one face and, and take it times six, and I cover all six of those faces. So again, make sure you get these written down uh, so you have your study guide, and we'll watch part two of the video here next. I'm um, getting a little more complex problem.